Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. This video is for our husbands. If you are married, gather here. It's for our husbands. A good husband, a husband that provides for his family, a husband that makes sure that his family do not lack, especially his children. I went there yesterday out of my environment. On my way, I met a man sitting alone. I like, ah, bros, good evening. He looked, he did not answer me. I like, bros, I did greet you now, good evening, I smile. He said, sister, I beg, leave me. I said, I hope all is well. Hey, all is not well. He brought his head down. When he raised his head, I was seeing tears. I was like, Bros, what is this? Are you okay? Is everything okay? He said, how can me? I cannot feed my children. Ah, it breaks my heart. To see that he was sharing, like, you know, when he was talking, he couldn't talk. He was like, like, the pain, the disappointment in his voice was out of this world. And then what happened? He said he came out for a word. They called him for a word. He was excited. Only for him to get there, they had taken somebody else. He said, my children are going to school. If they come back, there's no food at home. I felt so bad. See, if you are here as a married woman, hmm, pray for that man that you call your husband. It's not easy. There are husbands that go out of their way to make sure that they provide for their children, their family. If you are a wife, please pray for your husband. Because it's not easy to be a man. Take your knees on the ground. Those guys are going to a lot. I'm talking about a good husband though. He's not the one that will go and eat outside and come and be looking at you saying there's no money. He's not that will buy food and hide it under the bed and go and eat. I'm talking about we man, we husband. That will not sit and see the children go hungry. God will bless those men. So if you are here, you are married. Please pray for your husband. Pray for them, even if you don't have now. There are men that are good, but situation not let them do what they're supposed to do. Kneel down, pray for them. Pray for them that God blesses them. God elevates them. Please. Because you are not just there to give birth. You are also there to change protocol. You are there to change things spiritually too. So go on your knees and pray for that man. For me. <laughs> I get this where they pray for my husband. Because I don't want to go hungry. I have a, a day and then within the week. I pray for my husband. That day now my husband. I pray for him. That day also. God bless him. Favor him. Give him money. Bless his work. So also pick a day and pray for him. Okay? A good husband deserves to be happy. A good husband deserves to be peaceful. God bless him in Jesus' name. And also drop on the comments and say, My husband will not die before his time. My husband is blessed. My husband is favored. Also say, this prayer with me. Oh Lord, my God, I pray for my husband. Lord, bless my husband. Lord, protect my husband. Lord, keep my husband. Lord, there will never be a better yesterday for me and my husband. My household is blessed. My husband is blessed. Whatever my husband desire, his hand will hold. Whatever we desire, our hand will hold it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well. You are blessed. Our husband is blessed. Our husband is lifted. There will never be a better yesterday for us. Ahead, ahead. Positively ahead, ahead. In Jesus' name. Amen.